Mr. Speaker, I yield uh, two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Ms. Jackson Lee. The gentlewoman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman. This really is about saving lives. Eight children a day die from gun violence. In addition, 40,000 Americans die from gun violence throughout the year. I want to thank Congressman Thompson of California for making clear what we're saying here today. A veteran can buy a brace any day of the year. We love and respect and admire our veterans. But at the same time, we respect our first responders, police officers, and firefighters, and others who are on the front line, or former combat officers who say that we don't need automatic weapons in the hands of civilians. There's no hunting purpose. There's no purpose. You haven't lived until you see a shootout in your district between a criminal with a ghost gun against police officers. That is what we're trying to prevent. I don't want to see that in Houston, Texas ever again. You can buy the brace without a background check. But when it becomes a dangerous weapon, when that brace changes the gun's legal status and makes it, in essence, the same that caused a mass shooting at a Boulder, Colorado supermarket, the stabilizing brace made and a shorter barrel made a pistol under federal gun regulations. And so saving lives is why I'm standing here on the floor. Protecting police officers is why I'm on the floor. Protecting firefighters. And then the highest calling that I'm on the floor is protecting children and stopping Uvalde and Sandy Hook and Parkland, and the list goes on in Santa Fe. But a brace can be bought without a background check. And the rule that's being overturned simply has the ATF simply saying the ATF is doing the right thing. Vote for the underlying bill.